July 10th. That makes it day 46. Uh, we are still more than 400 miles from uh, Cape Flattery, but not much more than 400 miles. Uh, sailing uh, under the full main, uh, reaching on a course of about 45 degrees right now. Clear skies, but we're surrounded by a, a fog, a thin fog. Um, and it's been with us for the last couple of days. Uh, these conditions uh, have been with us for a couple of days now. Very nice. The fog is thinner than it was yesterday. The sun is brighter. There's not. It's just pure blue up there, except for this fog. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful day. A little bit, little chill in the air. Not much. As you can see, I'm not wearing my foul weather gear. Yesterday was the first time I was in the cockpit without foul weather gear in weeks. It's been several weeks since we've been able to go outside without our uh, foul weather gear on. So, really nice. We're enjoying it very much. Uh, pretty calm seas and a little bit of wind, probably 10 knots or so. And um, maybe a little bit less than 10 knots. And we're making about four towards our destination right now. We're airing everything out now, taking advantage of the sunshine, hoping that we can get some charge to, for the batteries out of the solar panels. And you see our previously multiple pairs, or pairs of, what are they? Multiple pairs of perpetually wet socks. We hope to get, get them dried out here a little bit. Uh, and everything else, we're trying to, you know, kind of air things out a little bit. We had the forward hatch open for a while, but we're starting to get some little splashes over the bow, so we had to close that up. And generally, enjoying the sunshine and the fine weather. Praise the Lord. Here we are. Uh, day, what did I say it was? Day 46. Still trucking. And still 400 miles to go. So that could be another two weeks, actually. <laughs> it could possibly be another two weeks. It could be three or four days. Um, at the rate we're traveling right now, uh, it's going to be about a week about six or seven more days at the current the rate we've been traveling the last couple of days maybe it's six or seven more days i am hoping very fervently that the, this weather and these sailing conditions will continue right up until we get to uh, the strait uh, and that means that it'll take us a week another week and that's fine with me because i'm really tired of the storms and the rain and the cold you know and the wet i'm tired of it <laughs> So, keeping us on course, you can see our high-tech arrangement here. I mean, it's draped with, you know, uh, wet dish towels and stuff, but um, the high-tech arrangement of uh, surgical tubing. One side keeps the tension on the uh, weather, on the weather side. And that one stays pretty well tensioned, and, and the other side is just in case it flops over too much, it pulls it back. This arrangement, believe us or not, has been steering the boat for the last three days uh, without a whole lot of attention from anybody. So uh, one of the very good things about the Vega, it can be made to steer herself under several different conditions. I had a, It took me a while to figure out how to make it steer uh, by herself with just the main. Uh, we had good success uh, with that arrangement steering with the jib, uh, but we had to come up with something a little bit different uh, on the main because of course, the pressure is farther aft. Uh, there's more tendency for the boat to round up. But uh, we got it pretty well wired. It won't always do this, uh, especially with the mainsail. It won't always steer herself, depending on the wind. Uh, if, the, if the wind dies off, she, she wants to fall off. And if it picks up, she wants to round up into the wind. But uh, as long as the wind stays steady, uh, this arrangement here, there's no complex you know, sheet to block to tiller crossover, no wind vane, no extra mechanical stuff. This is three dollars worth of surgical tubing and, and a couple of zip ties and that's it. And you know, maybe a couple of hours of time just getting it figured out. But it works just great, works just fine. Uh, we've, we've been using this setup ever since our, you know, we started out of necessity when our tiller pilot failed three days out of Honolulu 
now 40 days late, 43 uh, days later, we find the boat will will steer herself pretty well uh, and stay within uh, oh, 10 degrees either side of the course, the desired course, just like this. Uh, of course, if the wind changes, you have to come out and fiddle with it a little bit to get it, uh, change the tension on one side or the other, but it works great. And uh, no muss, no fuss, and no big money to spend on, you know, and no plumber's nightmare hanging off the back of the boat, and no draw on the batteries. So I think that's a pretty good deal. There's a lot of other things that we've done right on this trip, a lot of things we've done wrong. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip. That's our lift from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship.